Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as the title states, I will be doing a planner review. I actually responded to a post in the Black Women Who Plan and Create group. The post was by Eartha Watts Hicks. And she just said that she was actively looking for bloggers and influencers who would be willing to review her planner. I reached back out to her and told her I would love to. I love reviewing planners. I love to just peek inside to see how other people go about creating something like this organized organizing tool that has created this huge community so that's what we'll be doing today so this is the planner it is a paperback which i thought was really different um i like it though i like the binding i like that it has this like glued spine um instead of the typical coil or the rings that you typically see in a planner so as it states here this is a 12 month perpetual calendar there's a weekly calendar with a timetable and much more a planner is a girl's best friend. I love the cover art. I think that's really jazzy. And actually, I did a little bit of research before I um, jumped on today. And this planner is available on sale on Amazon.com for $17.95. So just to kind of give you guys some insight. And then we have Earth Atone. I'm, I'm assuming that's like the publishing. Um... It has something to do with the author definitely and she is an award-winning author i just kind of googled her name i know this is kind of weird but i wanted to get a little bit more background before i just started reviewing this planner and she is an author so here on the back and it also says the price on the back here um so you have schedule to-do list and you to use those you'll use those to organize and prioritize so this as a planner is a girl's best friend you are fun smart sexy and fabulous you have enough on your mind and your hands are already full whether you are a student artist boss diva mom or all of the above this planner is the perfect catch all to organize your busy schedule oh okay earth earth atone <laughs> is going to be her website so earth atone enterprises so i'm sure that's her company so let's go ahead and jump in um also i don't know if you guys are familiar with some of the michael's bullet journals but they have kind of like a matte velvety feel this is how that planner feels um so it has like some grip to it basically um and like i said i do really enjoy that it's paperback that's really different to me so let's go ahead and bust it open okay so we have that opening page here um, so that you can, you know, if, if this is found, you can go ahead and put your information in. I usually only put my email in. I don't put my name and things like that. But there is that. I like that opening page. And then here is just kind of the all rights reserved copyright section. And then here, this opening page is, it says, your best is good enough. Social roles of women have flip-flop reverse and are now finally expanding. For black women, well, societal roles have always been distorted. So this is... I really, oh my God, she even talks about Cardi B in here. Oh my God. Oh, okay. I'll give you guys a moment to, I don't know if you guys want me to read it. So I guess I'll pick up where I just left off. Um, but now this, Kim Kardashian, Martha Stewart, Paula Deen, Carol Brady, and Alice, the maid, rarely happens in the same individual, the same woman. And is even less likely to occur in a new age where women inspire to be Oprah, Beyonce, Serena Williams, Amber Rose, or Cardi B. Only Chaka Khan can be every woman. Any other woman seeming or claiming to accomplish this would either be a shock or a con. Real women, real women must be themselves. We must understand our limitations and our respect and our own boundaries. And in doing so, take care of the things that matter most, especially ourselves. Rarely, if ever, will that, will that everything at the same time, will that be everything at the same time? Sorry, guys. Think about what matters to you and what makes you smile. What five things would you love to accomplish in the coming year? So... This is basically an opening to get your top five goals down for the year for whatever whenever you start this planner so i love look at she has some suggestions join a church new year new outfit new hairdo write a novel start a business and then the next page here is for each of your goals list three actionable steps list three people who could help you and estimate potential costs associated with completing each goal now that is that is probably the most um, kind of drawn out way to look at your five goals that I've ever seen within a planner. Um, so here we are. It looks like we're about to start the planner. All right. So then we have six months at a glance here. And then the other half of the six months, um, you can put a, important dates. So it, you can use this either or, um, typically, um, you could use this like for birthdays, anniversaries, things like that. 
like like she said it is a perpetual calendar in here so i'm assuming that this is going to be the perpetual calendar aspect of it um here we just have our a quote and it looks like these are just kind of blank pages this is a quote from the author then we have a goals page and then it looks like we have a month page okay so let me just flip through Ooh, okay That looks like some, I'll go through that in a second. Okay, so we have, we definitely have undated monthly layouts. All right, so this is, this is really neat. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yes, you have your 12 months undated. So that means that you can start this planner whenever you want it. Um, which some people really like that. Um, sometimes I wish that I had that in some of my planners. Unfortunately, when you buy things like Aunt Condren, and Happy Planners, you typically buy, well, Happy Planner has an undated plan, uh, undated planner. I'm not, I'm going to take that back. But with Erin Condren, you typically have a June to July or January to December date. So that kind of locks you in to that planner. And if you don't use it, you kind of feel like you've wasted it. Whereas this in comparison would be, would allow you that flexibility to start, you know, maybe you want to do something in January. Maybe January is a busier month. And then February is slower, March is slower, and then you want to pick back up. So I also do like that she has an expenses tracker. This is this is something that I would have loved to have in any of my other planners because for a while in my Erin Condens, I used to use the note page before the month to track things like this. So I like that. I think that's really neat. All right, so as far as paper, um, paper thickness goes, paper thickness is a really large thing for me because I use... Um, thicker pens most of the time like um, gel g2s pilot g2s um, the paper mint ink joy gel and also now i use inner gels so you probably would have to use something like a ball, more like ballpoint in here just so that it didn't bleed through and also um, i use i like to have the thicker paper because i use a lot of stickers this planner itself doesn't look like it's too much you should be using full kits in it just from my review I think personally, I would use this as an all pen planner with a little bit of stickers here and there, which is not bad at all because function always supersedes decoration to me. It may not seem that way on my channel, but as you guys can see, I've been kind of moving to more white space layouts. So I'd say that this is a very functional planner. So here is another question just to kind of get you, get you thinking, who could you rely on if you needed someone to do something for you months from now? These are your supporters. List them. Be sure to reach out to those who support you at least once a week. So I like that. That kind of keeps you grounded, keeps you humbled, and makes it so that when something big happens and you need some help, you're not reaching out to a friend that you haven't talked to in six months. And you have some more notes pages. Another quote, if heart and mind were sisters, heart would be the gullible one. That's true. And that is by the author, Eartha. And so now we have a little bit of graphics here, just saying you are epic. So... Then it looks like we have some more note pages. Another, so, some more questions to kind of just get you going. Imagine you've been granted a million dollars to spend any way you choose. How would you spend it? How fast could you double your money? Turning one million into two. Well, one million wouldn't be turned into two because I pay my student loans off first. But again, that's another thing to kind of keep you going. These are questions in my eyes that kind of get you out of your stuck points. And I really like that. More goals pages. And then here we have a projects tracker. So you have things to do and then you can list your priorities A through D. We also have another kind of, oh, just a quote. Junk food is less expensive, but what we save at the supermarket, we eventually pay a doctor. That is true. So that kind of can get your diet in order, um, which I typically have my diet in order only because me and my husband meal plan a lot. This is a very interesting planner. Okay, so now we have a weekly layout and this is hourly. Wow, so you have from 4 a.m. to 11.59 that night. Now this, this here, this is definitely different than anything that I've seen as far as hourly goes. And as I'm saying that, let me peek, let me take a peek at the hourly that I have for my son, um, like tracking his feedings and things like that. All right, so for example, this is the hourly layout in Erin Condren. Hers goes from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now, 
the baby might be asleep by 7 p.m., but mom and dad have probably more stuff to do after that hour. So I do appreciate this. Now, this might really come in handy. Like, what if I kind of kick my Erin Condor to the curb and start using this as my tracker? Because these are more realistic times. 4 a.m. sounds like a time I'm going to be up um, with him. And we have Saturday and Sunday, which are undated. Uh, and I kind of see why. Um, probably wouldn't have been able to fit all of these on one page you can probably just kind of jot in your own hours if you wanted to or even use some stickers but as you can see within this layout this is not really a layout that you should be using a lot of stickers in um, maybe icons but not like big old I mean you could make anything work but I personally wouldn't use like full boxes in here maybe like quarter labels some washi up at the top to pizzazz it if you even need to every planner is not meant for decor depending on what type of planner you are so again, I like that these are undated so you can start and stop whenever you want. We have another kind of project or work in progress tracker, more notes pages, more project trackers, goal pages, and then we go into another um, weekly view of with that hourly. So it looks like this is going to be the same throughout. So let's just flip through. I really do enjoy this 4 a.m. start. That's about to be my life come October. I already know if not 4 a.m. it might be even earlier. Heck. Yeah, we're just flipping through. Okay, make sure I'm in frame. And if I'm going too fast, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm just flipping through. There's nothing kind of new in the inside. You just have a lot of the hourly spread out or the spread. I should say, I shouldn't say spread out. That didn't make sense, but this is really, really neat. And I like the paper is bright white. And some of the planners that have been coming out lately, the paper have been kind of like off white. Okay, so. This page here, we're on 194, so wow. Women are able to create beauty from the unexpected. How do you embrace your artistic expression? Has it brought you peace in the midst of a storm? Okay, so another reflection piece. Wow, okay, and so then we have another graphic here, and then we have a password log, so I love that password keeper because I'm always looking for a password keeper. Then we have an address book which might be helpful for like things like your insurance and um, stuff like that. Some financial institutions, sometimes I need that. And then we have, ooh, Diary of a Strong Bold Diva. So we have some blank note paper, or some line pages back here to give you a little bit of like brainstorming space. And that is it. So, okay. Wow, I'm really pleased with it. Like it, like it said, everything that was basically um advertised here on the front really was packed into the inside of this planner i do like the size again let me pull out the erin condren just as a comparison so you guys can see the size so that's including the coil so it's a little bit thinner um than the erin condren but it's just a little bit taller but without the coil they're about the same um but the coil is part of this planner so um it's it's a good size. I'm trying to think of something else that I could. Where's my happy planner? I don't know where that thing is. Where did I put my happy planner? It has to be somewhere down here. I want because I want to compare that one too. I think that would be kind of helpful if I could find it. Sheesh. This would. This is a problem when you have too many planners and you can't find stuff. Holy moly! Oh, here it is. <laughs> I went through this drawer like 50 times. So this is my happy planner. And let's go ahead and compare that. Okay, so without the this, this happy planner is basically the same size as the Planner Girl's Best Friend by Eartha Planner. So it is a little bit, is it taller? It's just a smidge, the happy planner is a smidge taller. I was trying to make sure it wasn't my cover. But overall, my review on this planner would say that this is a very good pen planner. This is very good for maybe work um not much room to get your stickers in there um you could use icons things like that or even functional items from Erin Condren I think those would work really well in here but as far as buying kits specifically for this I mean you could make really you could make I'm trying to get to the hourly you can make anything work in an hourly because I've seen plenty of women do it in the Erin Condren but just in my from my point of view this is a very functional planner. This is uh, you take this to with you to meetings. You take this with you to you know keep things um, around the house in order and stuff like that. So that's what this would I would mainly gear this to maybe a household planner or a work planner. 
um, just to kind of, or even someone in school, like in college or high school, this would be really, really good to kind of jumpstart you and get you organized for, you know, if you're in high school to transition into college because you have a lot more that you have to juggle when you're in college and stuff like that. But overall, I really like this. It's very functional. It's a very functional pen planner for me. So let's go through the items that were in the inside here. So this is just, um, oh, this is an order form. Okay, for her next book or for the book that she has out right now. So that's smart advertising, okay? And she has, wow, she has a lot of um, writing experience. So j just for her um, information, if you'd like to reach out to her or if you'd like to check out any of her social media, her, excuse me, her website is www earthatone.com and you can follow her on Facebook at Eartha Watts Hicks Twitter and Instagram she is Eartha Tone and let's see here oh this is a magnet this is awesome so this is a calendar uh full year calendar magnet and again it's advertising this planner here saying that it's available now and you can order it from looks like you can order it from Eartha Tone and you know what I have my my computer right over here so let me just Take a peek because I was looking on Amazon that's what one of the links took me to but yes she definitely does have her own website so oh wow this is awesome so yes you can go on her website Eartha Tone to purchase the planner or yes and you know what it's gonna take you oh my god you guys I'm so excited okay so it's either gonna take you to the, it's going to either take you to Amazon, you can get it from Walmart or Barnes & Noble. Um, so you can either get, oh, and she has a blank journal that has the same cover as this. So we're looking, we are, we reviewed today a pl the planner, the planner. I, I know that this is a planner, obviously, <laughs> but she also has, so I don't, I just don't want you guys to get confused when you guys go on the website. There is the perpetual or the the planner or you can get the journal and it'll be very clear because the journal doesn't have the same content within these shapes here so we have um this perfect this not perpetual this calendar that you can just kind of throw on your fridge and then this is just another oh this is just like an order form so this is awesome so i'm really really excited that i was able to check out her planner for her i think like i said i think overall my review on it is that it's a very good functional planner you can use um little minimal stickers in here i think this is really geared towards really keeping you on on track not really trying to focus on getting the latest and greatest stickers within the community just like pu pu pulling you back into yourself focusing more on yourself and fulfilling your 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 goals, your dreams and also making sure that you're connecting with your support system constantly. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If you like to see more things like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I will leave everything um, regarding her social media down below and also link to the Black Women Who Plan and Create Facebook group because if you're not already there, you should join us. We talk about amazing things. So I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.